I have a little interesting setup. Uh, I'm feeding one winding of the rodent, of my big rodent, with uh, the input here and over a MOSFET um, around 1 kilohertz. Uh, here we have the uh, spark gap. I hope my camera can catch that. Well, so I'm gonna increase the voltage. You will see a little spark. These are seven volts. Going to nine volts. 9 volts is around uh, 1000 volts coming out here of the rodent. Two wires uh, as a pickup, one wire as a driver, and yeah, three of these caps. When I remove the caps, the spark gap gets uh, smoother. Well, I'm gonna remove one, perhaps you can hear it. When I add one again, D1 again, this, uh, the discharge gets stronger. Yeah. When I increase the voltage, spark it and the voltage will also rise. These are 19 volts, I think around uh, 2000 volt output. Alright, going back. Yeah, 9 volt, 170 milliamps, around that, and a spot gap out of the big road in. Well, touching uh, both ends here will uh, actually hurt due to the capacitors here, but uh, they won't kill anyone. Yep, I can feel the juice here. Well, I don't want to touch that one. <laughs> okay. Just a little spark, spark gap, of, but uh, a spark gap. Oh. This is a spark gap attached to anything, the meter just freaks out. You won't get any accurate reading. So. Alright.